Welcome all. Today I'll be speaking about bioluminescence and electron transitions. Let's take the example of fire fireflies. Fireflies produce a chemical reaction in their bodies which allows them to emit light. This special type of emission of light is called bioluminescence. A firefly controls the starting and the ending of this emission of light which is a chemical reaction by producing oxygen to the chemicals. Let's see what happens in the body of the firefly. Oxygen reacts with calcium, adenosine triphosphate and luciferin in the presence of the enzyme luciferous which, enzyme, which emits the light. Now let's see what happens in the atom. In the presence of oxygen, the electrons get excited and move to the higher orbit. But these electrons do not settle up in the higher orbit and hence when they come down, they shed off energy in the form of heat and light. In the, in the fireflies, they do not emit heat. Instead, they only give out light, which is called cold light. And in the same process, when there is an emission of energy in the form of heat and light, a photons are also shedded off. These photons have a specific wavelength and frequency, which determines the color of the light which is emitted. Now I'll be taking a glow stick and these glow sticks have base catalysts and a suitable dye. This plastic tube contains a mixture of this base catalyst, a suitable dye and diphenyl oxalate. On applying mechanical energy, there is a reaction of all the solutions present in this tube which causes it to emit the light. I hope you can see the light. Now we know how light is emitted in fireflies. This chemical reaction takes place in many animals and insects such as fireflies. This is called bioluminescence. Thank you.